Amid tumbling prices of crude oil, the federal government is set to cut the country's 2020 budget. President Mohamed Buhari will get a report on Tuesday today on what its regime can do to salvage the 10.59 trillion naira budget. The Budget Review Committee, which was set up by Buhari on Monday, is chaired by the Minister of Finance, Budget and Planning, Mr. Zainab Ahmed. Its primary duty is to review the $57 oil benchmark for the budget and ultimately recommend an appropriate size down from the current 10.59 trillion naira. Other members are the Minister of State, Petroleum Resources, Timi Press Silva, Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godin Emefele, and the Group Managing Director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Cooperation, Mele Kiari. Plus, TV Africa spoke with Tawo Yedele, partner, tax policy and West Africa tax leader, on the effect of the oil price drop. Yes, so as a result of the coronavirus outbreak, uh, what we are seeing is there's um, falling demand for crude oil uh, because factories have been shut down, movement around both on the road and by air all going down. So that means demand was going down. So what OPEC wanted to do along with Russia was to cut uh, production so that they can stabilize the price but unfortunately Russia did not agree with OPEC so Saudi Arabia decided that let's all just flood the market with product so because of that particular decision the price of crude oil has crashed uh, to now just a little over $30 which is about 40 percent over 40 percent below a budget benchmark of $57 so what this means is if this persists we will not be able to fund the budget it means that we're going to have bigger deficits means we have to borrow more and the cost of funding the borrowing would go up uh, so government needs to take step very quickly to try and see not only how do we adjust the budget but what are the other measures we have to put in place to ensure that we reduce the impact of this on, on nigerians uh, we know that from the very recent experience of the recession in 2016, once we had decline in the price of oil and we were not prepared, uh, our reserves were going down, we could no longer defend the Naira, and that led to significant devaluation of Naira, which also then meant that you know, anything we imported became more expensive, inflation went up. Uh, I hope we do not repeat all those mistakes that we made just about three, four years ago. Now, if the price is like even half of what it was at the beginning of the year, and that is sustained, it means that our reserve, our external reserve, has actually been going down. It's down by over 6% from the beginning of the year at about $36 billion. Now, if the price of oil remains depressed, then the inflow to the reserve would, would decrease, which means we will not have enough foreign exchange receipt to even service our import needs. So as, and as long as the, now we still have the external reserve can cover six months of import. Uh, the benchmark we have is it should not be less than three months. Um, if the price of oil remains low, we get quickly to three months and then it becomes a crisis that we have to manage. I'm hoping that we won't get to that point um, before OPEC and Russia will try and do something about it. But again, we can't run our economy based on hope and things we cannot control. I'm uh, hoping that South Africa and Russia will do something. We should actually think about what is it that we can do by ourselves and for ourselves to try and limit the negative impact of this uh, decline in oil prices. What this means is not only would our export proceed come down, the revenue we make from oil in terms of the sale of crude oil belonging to Nigeria, as well as petroleum profit tax, royalties, everything will go down. And Nigeria's economy is also very well connected with the oil and gas sector. Once you begin to see some form of crisis in that sector, it would affect other sectors. Uh, because you see banks, for example, have loans to oil and gas. They will start defaulting in their payments. It might spread to non-performing loan. Contractors who work as oil service providers would also have some consequences. So it's a lot uh, in terms of the impact on the negative side. But also I think it provides us with the opportunity to try and address some of the issues we've always had in Nigeria. One of it is fuel subsidy. So I believe that, you know, making adjustments for landing and all of that uh, shipment, very soon the price of the pump price should be below 145. Government should use this opportunity to just remove the fuel subsidy uh, so they can save some money there and allow market forces to drive the price of petrol. Mr. President has set up a committee 
to look at how will this affect our budget. But I think it needs to go beyond that. It's not just about what do we change and tweak. 